Everton, Chelsea and Manchester United, two of the Premier League clubs interested in signing Ibrahima Sangare this summer. Now, a source close to the PSV Eindhoven midfielder says the player ha has his heart set on moving to England. He's convinced he will be a Premier League player next season. Sangare is believed to have a release clause of 35 million euros in his contract. He's also been linked in the Dutch media with Liverpool and Newcastle. He has three years left on his PSV contract. Transfer signings, Urian Timber, Frankie de Jong, Darwin Nunez. We've been linked with a ton of players. But I'm finally sitting here speaking to you about us being linked with a defensive midfield player. I have been exhausted over the last few years of how many times I've had to speak about how our biggest priority this summer, every summer, is signing a defensive midfielder. So someone like Ibrahim Sangare, he could be ideal for Manchester United. And I want to explain all of that in this video. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. By the end of the video, if you do enjoy it, if you do learn something, go down there, hit the subscribe button. And become part of the growing community, which I'll be honest, it's a fa it is a fantastic community. I'm loving it. But look, Ibrahim Sangare, who is he? Plays for PSV. I haven't watched PSV much this season, but I'll tell you what I did watch closely was the uh, cup final against Ajax. And Sangare was fantastic in that game. He is a 24-year-old Ivory Coast defensive midfield player. And as was said there, 35 million euros. Okie dokie. I like the sound of that. In terms of the profile of who we need to sign. We know exactly what we're going to be playing next season. 4-2-3-1. That is Eric Ten Hag's system. We take a look at how PSV have actually played this system. 4-2-3-1 has been the formation they have used the most. And who's been actually their best player, statistically? Well, according to the ratings, anyway. Ibrahim Sangare, there as the left central midfielder in a midfield double pivot. Now, he really is a powerful... How tall is he? He's like one, what was it 191? Yeah, 191. He's a big dude. He is a big dude. And we can talk about priorities of getting a new centre-back in and playing out from the back with the ball and getting a new deeper line playmaker. But if we're being completely honest, we all know deep down. Not the sexiest of signings, no. But it's such a crucial signing that we need to make. Somebody who protects that back four. Guarantee you, Maguire looks better next season if we get a proper defensive midfielder in front of him. Moran looks better if we get a proper defensive midfielder in front of him. And the person I thought would be the most proper defensive midfielder would be already in Many. Now, he's going to be going to Real Madrid for a, a package that's worth over 100 million euros. An insane amount of money. Would have been an amazing signing for United. I don't think we can afford to spend that much on an individual when we have so much to do this summer. If we take a look here at some stats between Many and Sangare, you can see that they're very similar in their, in their patterns and their shapes and how they play. You'll see the one one area here, which is quite an interesting one, actually, where Sengar is actually much better than Churumeni, or at least what he did last season, is the number of sequences with 10 passes that he featured in. So PSV playing out with the ball and him being involved in a build-up play. Interestingly enough, he's actually less in terms of the aerial duels attempted, which I kind of thought would have been a bit different. But if you're comparing how Sangari is and where his stats lie, as you can see, Similar types of patterns that Chuameni has. And for me, Chuameni would have been the absolute top, top person in this position. But I'm finally glad that we're sitting here with some serious links for a defensive midfielder to come in the club. What's taken so long? I hope that this isn't just a brand new link that has come out of nowhere. This has been sort of bubbling behind the, behind the scenes. This is what I want United to do this summer. And I hope they're doing it. And fingers crossed it's with Sangare. Now, of course, maybe it's going to be a difficult set of negotiations, but if only PSV had a new manager that maybe had a link to Manchester... Oh, there you go. Ruud van Nistelrooy is, of course, PSV's new manager. Now, PSV selling one of their better players to Eric Ten Hag, who's not Ajax anymore. Maybe that would stop it. I don't think it would. But of all the players we've been linked with this summer, man, I think I went on record to say that De Jong would be the one that would have such, had a completely transformative signing at Manchester United in terms of implementing Eric Ten Hag's system. I stand by that. But in terms of a transformative signing, where we're looking at our current squad and where the real weakness is, someone like Ibrahim Sangare could make such a difference in there. We know exactly where he would come in if he was signed. Hypothetically, that could be... Look at that. Hypothetical midfield duo next season. Sangare, 30, 35 million. De Jong, what are we looking at? 65 million. There thereabouts. Best part of 100 million for those two players. It's a lot of money, 
but that transforms it. We need somebody who can, when United go forward, who can drop into that position there, who can allow De Jong to maybe go slightly further forward if needed to be, or whether it's Fred. Oh, look, doesn't really matter who I put here. Let's put Fred there for all intents and purposes because it's still the same conversation. We need somebody who can make this area his own. That's his fortress. Doesn't really have to move too far away from this. Wins the ball back. Protects that back four. Always presents himself as an option. Good with ball re recycling. Good with ball possession. Has strength. Tick, 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 tick. And has a 35 million release clause. I don't know whether that's true or not. Whether he does have that 35 million release clause. But I'm just happy to be doing this video. I really am. Because we need to be linked with players like Sangare. True and many. It was never really... Yeah. I wanted it to happen. We all wanted it to happen. But what happened? Not really. Not, not, the, links, not the links with Manchester United anyway. Real Madrid came in. I suppose it's a bit like Camavinga. Maybe. Maybe United knew that we had no chance of signing too many. I'm trying to see a positive spin on that one. But look, with everything that's gone on here in the last like 24 hours, and this morning in particular, I was going to do a video on the Darwin Nunes situation, and maybe I still will tomorrow, but we talk about Darwin Nunes for £85 million. Pounds. Come on. This squad, this um, in, the, in the current situation where it is, we, we, we don't have the luxury of being able to sign a top-level luxury, maybe not a luxury player, but a top-level marquee signing that can come and be the final piece to the jigsaw. There's too many missing pieces. And that's why someone like this man here, Sangare, could really be an ideal signing for Manchester United. Now, as I said, as this summer sort of progressed, there hasn't really been too much in terms of us being linked with a defensive midfielder, but you can go back on United People's TV for years now and how exhaustively I've talked about the fact that we need to sign a man like Sangat, somebody who, it's boring, man, but I tell you what, it, it, it enables you to win football matches. Fabinho might not have been the sexiest signing for Liverpool, but he enabled everybody else to do what they did. Fernandinho was probably never the sexiest signing for City, but I'll tell you what, he does a job and he protects his defence. And our defence needs pro protection massively. As I said, I really feel that whoever it is, whether it's Maguire and Varane, Lindelof and Varane, Timber and Varane, whoever our two starting centre-backs are next year, will be made invariably better by simply having a midfield that operates... To protect their interests because too often Manchester United attacks just come straight through the middle players running straight our defenders because our def because we've got Fred and McTominay who have sort of chased the ball up a little bit here uh, obviously not Sangare chased the ball and left this whole huge space here that just gets exploited it can't happen it's not how football successful football teams operate so whether it's Sangare whether it's somebody else for me that's the key signing this summer. The key signing is somebody who can protect that back four, screen that back four, and if that so happens to be Sangare, well, why not? Tell me a reason why not. 30, 35 million euros, somebody who's 24, got years ahead of him. If you take a look at how he's played for PSV this season, he knows that system. He obviously has played in the area Divisia, so Eric Ten Hag will have plenty of understanding about his strengths as a player. But I hope Sky Sports are right on this one. I really, really do. Let's be honest, I haven't, been, I haven't exactly been right for a long time. I'm kind of in the mud. But I really feel strongly about the fact that this summer isn't the summer where we probably could have gone and spent $100 million on true money. That was a pipe dream, if anything. And I don't think it's a summer where we can go and spend $85 million on Darby Nunez. We have to take our money. And if $35 million on someone like Sangade... Look, I've spoken about Conrad Lamer quite a bit. I think for 15 to 25 million euros, he could massively, massively improve our midfield options at a relatively cheap price. But yet, we haven't really been linked too much with him. Again, I hope that we're doing it behind the scenes. But this story, I like it. I want to give it some propaganda. This is some, some pro Sangare prop because we need a player in that position for a price like that. I don't think it's something that United could really just afford to ignore. And as I said, just get on the phone to Rude, man. Come on, Rude. Do us a favor. You're going to sell him? Sell him to United? Sangaret is somebody who would be... I wouldn't say he's a, the perfect signing. I wouldn't say he's a dream signing either. But he would be an ideal signing. And that's very, very different. Because as I said, and I will continue to push it, we need someone in that position. If we don't sign someone in that position, 
next season, we're going to run into a lot of the same problems we ran into this season. Well, the season just gone. What do you think about the Ibrahim Sangare um, reports, rumours? Do you think he would be the ideal signing? If it's not him, who else would it be? Because let's talk about defensive midfielders. We need that position signed. Sod, not Sod de Jong, but why can't United do more than one thing at once? Maybe, again, maybe they are. Maybe these things have been happening behind the scenes, but it's only now that we're starting to learn about the Sangare situation. I hope that's the case. But you let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But as I said, for me, someone like Sangare, with the stats that he had there, as I said, we compared him to Chouameni, and you can see it's quite a similar type of player. He could be an ideal signing for United. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new as well. Take it easy.